英語聞き流し10分間名作リスニング英語テキストと MP3 ダウンロードその他の物語はホームページよりご利用いただけます 88thpp.com 88thpp.com The House The family of my grandfather on my mother's side used to be a landlord of the area and has lived on the ancestral land generation after generation. My grandfather succeeded the family when he got married with my grandmother. In the end, four generations lived together in the big house. My grandparents, their daughter and their son in law, their grandson and his wife, and their great grandchildren. They had constant disputes, but nobody could leave the house to keep their old family style. My grandfather was unconscious for weeks in the hospital when his time was drawing near. A couple of days after his family decided to turn off his life support system, their house was burned down to the ground. It was my grandmother who caused the fire. A candle she lit on the Buddhist altar made something catch fire and spread all over. No one was injured, but the police questioned my grandmother persistently. She went to the hospital to see my grandfather and repeated loudly in his ear, The house was burned down. It's all gone. She told my mother that she thought he heard her, though he was unconscious, and he would die soon along with the house. As she said, he passed away the very next day. I attended his funeral. Worrying about how devastated my grandmother would be because my grandparents were such a nice couple. On the contrary, she was fine and somehow gleeful. I wondered if their relationship was my grandfather's one sided love. Considering her life, it's possible that she had hated the house all those years since she married into the family. By the time the house was being rebuilt, she lived at a nursing institution with her daughter who had suffered from dementia and no longer recognized her mother. She herself gradually had health problems and spent the rest of her life in the institution. She died there and never lived in the new house. Audiobook, Japanese Dream by Hitomi Woods on sale at online stores or apps. Apple, Audible, Google Play, Nook Audiobooks, 43 available distributors in total. Crazy. I was born at the small hospital in a rural area. Although not many expectant mothers checked in there, two baby girls were born on the same day, one of whom was I. We shared the newborn room, sleeping in a bed side by side. Before the birth, I'd had a possibility to have severe jaundice of the newborn. My mother was told it would either leave a brain defect if I had it, or make me extremely intelligent if I didn't have it. Instead of jaundice, I was born with a hip joint dislocation. My right leg had been regularly dislocated and hung loosely until I was one or two years old, and my mother had to take me to the hospital each time. About the time when my leg finally stopped getting dislocated, there was a piece of news in the local newspaper that a little girl was thrown into the river and killed by her parent. The victim was the baby who was born on the same day as I was and slept in the next bed to me at the hospital. Since both the town and the hospital were small, my mother and my grandmother remembered the name of the baby and the area she lived in. 
I was luckier, and I outlived her without any more dislocation or jaundice. The latter should have resulted in me being extremely intelligent, but my parents consider me simply crazy. Audiobook, The Family in Kyoto, One Japanese Girl Got Freedom by Hitomi Woods on sale at online stores or apps. Apple Books, Google Play, Audible, 43 available distributors in total. The Evil World When I was little, my mother constantly said bad things about others. She believed that, even when someone was kind to her, there must have been some plot behind the nice gesture. To sum up what she talked about every day, there are only evil people in this world. In kindergarten, mothers would fix a lunchbox for their kids, and the kids would eat lunch with their classmates and their teacher. At one lunchtime, when I was opening a lid of my lunchbox, I inadvertently dropped it to the floor without having a single bite, and it overturned there. I lost my lunch. While other kids laughed at me, my teacher, who had been trying so hard to make me play with other kids because I had ignored them and had hardly talked to anyone, cleaned up the mess for me and took me to a small candy store outside the kindergarten. She told me to pick any bread I liked. I picked one timidly, feeling afraid what kind of trap this would be as I didn't have any money. She suggested one more. I couldn't figure out what was going on and shook my head. She picked one more piece of bread by herself, took out money from her own wallet, and gave all the bread to me. I was stunned. She bought me lunch. It was the first time that someone unrelated to me was so kind to me. Since then, I had started talking to her. Even after I finished kindergarten, I had kept exchanging letters with her, and I still sent her a Christmas card every year. She was the first person who destroyed my mother's theory of the evil world and taught me that there are some good people in this world. The Family in Kyoto 原作ナレーションヒデミウッツ Amazon, Apple, Google Play 等で発売中。英語テキストはKindleで発売中。英語聞き流し10分間名作リスニング英語テキストとMP3ダウンロードその他のものがたりはホームページよりご利用いただけます。88thpp.com 88thpp.com